In today's video, wine meets technology, as we take a look at my three top apps. Hello and welcome to the Grape Explorer, where we celebrate the world of wine. On this channel, we do wine education, product reviews, and lots of tastings. So if you're interested in wine, consider subscribing. You know, these days on our phones, there really is an app for everything. And so today I wanted to go through my top three wine apps, which I use on a regular basis. I'm gonna start off with a wine app that's been created by the Wine and Spirit Education Trust. Now this app has been designed to allow you to capture and catalog all of the different wines that you taste and enjoy. The app itself is based on the WSET level 2 criteria for capturing details of a wine, so it doesn't necessarily go into the full detail of level 3. And by that I mean the classifications for things like acidity and body are going to be low, medium or high. At level 3 we start to get into the medium minus and medium plus territory. And so this app is looking at the type of classifications you would give a wine based on their level 2 criteria. So getting into the app itself, it takes you through a systematic approach to tasting wine in a similar way to that you would take when you're going through the WSET Level 2 exam. So first of all, it's going to ask you to take a look at that wine and place some of the classifications around what you can see from a colour perspective. You will then go through the aromas that you're getting on the nose and the intensity of those aromas and the characteristics of those aromas. You're then going to take a look at the palate, how does that taste, what's the acidity, the tannin like, the body of the wine. And finally you're going to be able to give that wine something of a scoring by looking at the balance, the length, the intensity and the complexity. Finally you can then allocate uh, the wine region, the bottle, overall thoughts to that. And this app provides a really good way I think of helping you if you're going shopping again, if you found a wine that you liked and you're looking for something similar to try out and it's going to build up a really great wine library for yourself as a taster. The second app I'm going to talk about is Vivino. Now Vivino is a fantastic app for a couple of reasons. One, it has a huge catalogue of wines that have been collected by users all around the world. And the reason for that is it has this fantastic photo sharing ability whereby you can take a photograph of a bottle of wine, it will locate the wine for you and it will give you some scores and reviews from other users of Vivino the world over. Now I have got a bottle of wine with me here today and I'm hoping uh, to put up this app to a test. So all you need to do with Vivino is actually take a photograph of the bottle of wine. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place my take my picture, tick the box. Okay, you then tick the box. And there we go, it's come up with the details of the wine already. And I can look through this, I can leave a review myself, I can share my thoughts with others. And also what this app does I think really well is it gathers price information from various sources. Now I'm based in the UK, so it's going to look for the best price I can find this wine in the UK. It's going to be able to provide me a link to their website. So overall this is absolutely fantastic. Finally, the last app that I use regularly is the Wine Society app. Now the Wine Society is an organisation based in the UK. You pay to become a member of the Wine Society and after that you're able to order wines through their website or directly through their store. What I like about the app is the sheer amount of information that you get which goes right from being able to select wines by country, by region for purchase, through to tips for food pairing, there's an A to Z glossary of wine terminology which I think is really helpful, there are some vintage charts available on this website and it provides the end user with a really great experience and a really great awareness of some of the wines that are available and what you would be able to pair that wine with which I think is really useful again for a novice as well as for somebody who's perhaps a bit more advanced. All of the apps to install are absolutely free uh, to use, uh, there's no cost associated with them. I think these are really fantastic, these are certainly my top three apps uh, available out there today. So how about you let me know what you use. Uh, any of these wine apps used by yourself at the moment? What do you use to search out and seek wine globally? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm the Grape Explorer and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.